by a farmer's wife who noticed that rabbit getting into <laughs> getting tipsy on fermented agave. Oh, cool. Hi, and welcome to The Liquor Connoisseur. I'm Crystal. I'm Roger. Today we'll be reviewing Suerte Blanco Tequila. This tequila is made using a minimum six-year-old mature Blue Weber Agave, Tejona Crushed. It is slow roasted for 52 hours, distilled for 17 hours. Suerte's process is four times longer than industry standard. They own their own agave fields and are one of 2% of registered tequila brands that owns its own dedicated distillery. Nice. Yeah, the only other one I know is maybe Patron. Yeah, Patron has their own everything. You know, I'm included. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. You wanna tell us about the, the story of the rabbit? I believe it's on the bottle. I see what we got here. Oh, man, this has uh, been a long time coming. Uh, let's see here. Legend oh, has it. There it is. Legend has it. Tequila was originally discovered by luck. Well, actually, it was by a rabbit, or rather by a farmer's wife who noticed that rabbit getting into <laughs> getting tipsy on fermented agave. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> but that's still pretty darn lucky, if you ask us. And we feel pretty lucky to be able to bring this great tasting tequila to you. So enjoy and drink suerte. I guess that's where man. the luck of the rabbit comes from. Hey, <laughs> that is cool, man. You can catch them at drinksuerte.com. This is neat and long time coming for me because I believe I've had the rep, but I don't think I've had the Blanco. I've had them all. Yeah, you've had them all and I've been looking. And this is... Um, Flights are a good way to try things. Without yes. Without spending a lot of money. 10 out of 10. This is on uh, Tequila Matchmaker, right? Isn't this one of those? It is additive free, okay. but not every additive free tequila is listed on True. Tequila Matchmaker. Nom fifteen thirteen, yay! All right, created it's fifteen thirty. Oh, sure is. Yeah, fifteen thirty. Give me a moment. Need your glasses, old man. Yeah, I do need my glasses. Give me a Where's moment. Where's your readers? Where's my readers? Check him out. Suerte Tequila is created with the pure spring waters. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can get. And water is very important. That's why all alcohol Remember doesn't so. taste the same. Because water, temperature, location. Yeah. You can I have the same it. mash bill and get a different effect based on the water. Yeah, placement in a rig house if you're aging all has an impact on the, the flavor. This looks like a synthetic cork, so I might be able to keep this one. ASMR. Okay, that was good. Had a little base. Nice little base to it, yeah. Well, that's a beautiful sound right there. I know, man. It sounds like a lot, but it's not. Oh, wow. Cook the coffee mm -hmm. off the top. Off the top. Oh, wow. It, they got very strong. If you ever really want to know what cooked agave smells like, we've reviewed several good tequilas that can do that, and this happens to be one of them. So just know if you see Suerte, you're going to smell cooked agave forward. Was that 57 hours they cook it? Yeah. Wow. So take they take pride in their craft. Mm -hmm. Tahona yes. Crush, not a lot of, of uh, tequila brands do the Tahona. We have batch number B61 Zero eight two three. If you're wondering, wow, right. what's the price point on this one? Had you not asked me, had I? Yeah. No, I believe it's about thirty-seven. It's yeah. not bad at all. Yeah, this is one of those sub forties, along with uh, I think Lalo is in that same space. Mm -hmm. Sub forty Blanco tequilas that you you can't miss with. Wow. You ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you get your nose on Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, 
I get the same on the nose as I do on the palate. That cooks the gummy. Smooth, no burn, just delicious. Mm. Cook the gave. Light with the citrus, very little vanilla. It's not overpowering to get you that Because it's not very bad for the, yeah. yeah. Wow. Man, this Do is. Do a little pepper in there? Ooh, yes. Okay. It's a little pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just checking my palate. Look at you go. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. I'm getting. Wow. Mm. Yeah, this is a sipper. Yeah, it goes down. I see what they mean by all the luck. I'm noticing the spades, diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I know some people that will enjoy anything with a rabbit on it. So, <laughs> um, if you're a fan of rabbits, uh, just pick this up for that. And your guests will be quite pleased with whatever you do with this. I'm sure you can make some mean cocktails out of it. Mm -hmm. um, this sips well neat, but yeah. it does well on the rocks, very versatile. And at that price point, you can actually justify playing with it a little bit. But then if you want to sit back and just sip, this will do it. Yeah, so now I'm on the finish. I get a little sweetness on the finish. I like this. Man. So like I said, when I first had it, it was in a flight. And I just tried, I had uh, from the Blanco all the way to the extra Nejo. And just kind of went one by one, sip by sip. What and you think? What's, what, what was your favorite? You said they had an extra Nejo on the yeah. flight? Yeah. It was, it was great. Mm. It probably cost me about a, a whole bottle of Blanco, but to go that range yeah for that price was good it's worth it then you kind of know what your speed is especially for those kind of starting off in a space uh flight boards are your friend because they get you dialed in yeah so so i believe my favorite was the anejo followed by the blanco just because going through all those it it actually helped amplify some of the notes within the blanco yeah that's what a barrel does <laughs> <clears throat> So yeah, it's uh, it's a great price range. Um, I I do put this in the beginner, and not just because of the price range. I think to get you that, that used to that cooked agave flavor, this is a good place to start honing your palate, mm -hmm. and then move forward into the intermediate. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of tough to position blancos and silvers much higher than beginner because that's usually where you want to kind of start anyway but trust me the intermediate and expert people are going to really appreciate this i have doubts you will find anybody bad mouthing this one um if you do uh it, yeah send it to us that, that's a unicorn definitely um if they enjoy tequila if you really like tequila you're going to love this and probably everything that they make um, and there's very few that I can say that about, but we've been lucky to try those. So don't yeah. waste your time drinking bad tequila. Life is too short. <laughs> <laughs> the ode to the tequila ombre? Yeah, ode to the ombre, man. <laughs> Cheers to you, good fellow. He's, uh, he definitely has a very good palate for great tequilas and, and Heck, sometimes he recommends stuff and we're like, man, if I can find that, I want to try it. Just see what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, definitely. I swear to you, you should be able to find in your local stores. Again, $37. The master distiller on this is Pedro, uh, Pedro Hernandez Barba. And it's also got a signature on the, on the neck of the label. Man, that just... Oh, I got to wait. Yeah, what know. else do you got to say? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> before I can finish Guess that's all, folks. <laughs> before I can finish this off, what, what else do you have for us? As we like to say, drink to remember, not to forget. And as always, like, subscribe, and share. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>